Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we're here with Jason. We're here with Jason's Apache truck that has a story that is gonna blow your mind. So before we even dig into what it is, let's start with your crazy story of this thing. Back in 2018, uh, California, NorCal especially, uh, was destroyed by that campfire. Um, and yep. it essentially torched an entire town, the city of Paradise. Yeah. And, we had uh, leveled the whole town everything. pretty much. People, unfortunately, people died. Everything, it was just tragic. Horrible. This truck was under a tarp in the valley. And uh, I was at a buddy's shop and I was just telling him I was into, I wanted to do another ride. And uh, he pulled the cover back on this just metal. It was just mayhem, man. It wasn't yeah. even a car, it wasn't a truck. And uh, he kind of told me the backstory. And, and basically this truck was one of many vehicles that burned down on live TV in the Paradise Fire. And, you know, and that's what makes this a true one of one vehicle. I'm, I'm surprised you even had the, lack of better ways of saying it, the balls to, to take on like, oh yeah, it was burnt to the ground in the Paradise Fire. Let's resurrect this thing. Let's build it into a driver. I mean, it could have really not worked out well. Oh, completely. And I, I, <laughs> again, I think it was, 99% it wasn't gonna work with the yeah. 1% that it would just be over the top. And yeah. You know, it, it's over the top. No expense has been spared building it. Yeah. And uh, I, I I daily drive the hell out of it. Do I, you really? Yeah. I put just under 2,000 miles on it since SEMA 21. And um, man, I'm all over the place in this thing. So, so what year is it? It's a 1959 Chevy Apache yeah. fleet side short bed. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't the big back window, but I reached out to uh, my boy Irving over at Roaster Shop and we ordered me up a spec chassis, the slam version with the narrowed rear end. So it's full Roadster Shop chassis. Bad ass. Yeah. Like again, I was just like, I'm gonna throw the money at it and like, I want it right. And plus again, I drive them. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. It's got to be right. Yeah. So we did the roaster shop uh, spec chassis. And then my boy Nick um, had a basically an LQ9 that he pulled out of a Suburban, the big six liter with the tranny, uh, blew it all apart, put a bunch of race components in it. And it's the equivalent of a modded LS3 now. So it dynoed on the ground at like 490. Awesome. And out of a truck that weighs nothing. So yeah. It's like third gear, it'll chirp on the freeway. Just like really? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's too much and then you know I'm, i still toy with the idea of dropping a whipple on it but oh my god yeah i don't know all man. right so you're crazier than i give credit <laughs> oh yeah no yeah dude i do dumb things and it's on air right we're running a full um air system we're running 10 gallons of flow air tanks and airlift performance management but yeah and then you know i'm running full resto mod ac we just have it hidden everywhere I just wanted it to be a very sterile rust bucket on the inside. I mean, it's really funny because it is like to say it's clean kind of is weird because it's far from clean, but yet it's it's yeah. impeccable, actually. Man. And then we're running uh, uh, the big brake aero kits from Willwood on front and rear, cross field rotors, 14 inch, six piston, all that jazz. Badass. And then um, Detroit Steel stepped up and they sponsored it with wheels. and. We just kind of went to town, man. Very cool. Uh, yeah, the wheel choice on here is really bitching. Thank you. We're running a 20 by nine in front and a 20 by 12 in the rear. And then what tire sizes are you running? Um, in the rear, it's a 345, 25, 20. Oh shit. Yeah, it's big. <laughs> and then what transmission runs with it? Just the 4L80 that came with it. Okay. Yeah, and that has been all rebuilt. Mm -hmm. So Devious Customs, that's the guys that did the build on this? So yeah, Jeff Davey, who owns Devious Customs on Riverside, he really put, my vision to to work. I just love everything you did, actually. Your choices are so bitching on this. What's the company you said that did the wheels? Detroit, Detroit Steel. Steel. Yeah, so when they came, they're just raw metal, but they've got that coating, so yeah. the loss won't happen. So basically they stripped the coating, and then over the months that it took to build this, they kept adding different layers of acid and letting it sit out in water and rain and, and just in the sun. And then eventually they got it to where it is now and then shot Matt clear on them. That's why not one wheel is the same. Yeah. They're all, I mean, yeah. even from left to right, it's totally different. Uh, dude, I'm just so blown away by what you've done with this, man. I mean, it, it's what you guys had to do to get like body panels to, to work. And Yeah, so if you get a shot down the side, on each side, it looks like right where the, the opening is, it it's looks like a wide body out. kit. Yeah. yeah. That's not on purpose. That was just because of heat, as well as the dimpling on the roof. And 
That's why the panels aren't perfect because that heat just twisted this thing apart. But yeah. <laughs> the support beams that are the posts that hold the bed, kind of the rigidity of it, yeah. those all melted from the fire. So the, the whole bed sucked up underneath. So you had to restructure all that. Yeah. How long, how long did it take to, to, from start to driving? 11 months full time of them building it. You know. So yeah, everywhere you look, there's gonna be something a little different, right? So we ran a three inch stainless steel Borla exhaust all the way through. Gotcha. And then Jeff Tear dropped the um, port. I so it looks that. a little bit different. The one thing that this truck did not have that I actually sourced was the rear bumper. And it's crazy because that rust was from, I've never touched that bumper. <laughs> that matched the truck to the T. We're like, Jeez, holy dude. shit, man. Yeah. How about your how about your wheel tubs? So it, the wheel tubs are original except for the five inch strips, five or six inch strip that's right here. We decided to keep these simply because we wanted to show that, you know, this is the original tubs. Again, they matched the burn patina yeah. of it. So then it's got just a big Ford nine inch Watts link. My fuel is down there. Everything was, you know, hardline plumb. All right, let's check your interior. This right here is actually the original glass that melted out and then welded itself back to the door. Come on. Yeah. And how I know that is because I slipped my arm wide open on it before I sanded it down. Wow. So the crazy Dude. part is when we cut a reveal inside the door, you'll actually see melted glass sitting in the bottom of the door. Oh my God, you're not shitting me. Oh, this is slick in here, dude. Is this TMI seats? No, it's all Snowden, custom built. Nice. Yeah, so it's low profile, adjustable, leather suede. This, I built, I designed this interior to match my Cadillac. And then, I'm a geek for this, but I, I, I personally, I just love cup holders. I'm so floored by this truck. Well, dude, if there's nothing we've left out, I mean, I'm sure it could go on and on, but if, if we've covered the bulk of this, Sweet. let's, uh, yeah. You know, we'll pack up and we'll go do a little cruise in it. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I love that you uh, that you did the power you did on this. Plenty of power to get down, have fun. Yeah. Like right now, we're an inch off the ground. Are we really? Yeah. Holy cow. Things got plenty of get up and go, man. I've said it a million times, man. It's, it's my favorite horsepower range is that high fours into mid fives in the tire in a vehicle that, because what's this way, a few thousand pounds? Yeah, it's super light. Yeah. down you still get a decent turn Talk about a crazy story to go from being burnt to the ground in the Paradise Fire to what Jason and the Devious Customs guys did with this. Completely blown away right now by the story and by the finished product of being just an exceptionally cool driving truck. Knocked out right now, man. So I hope you guys had fun in this one and enjoyed the story. I will see you in the next one. All right, man, later.